Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Now let's go to soil alkalinity. Soil alkalinity. This is the presence of excess quantity of soluble materials in the soil. When you see, it's good for you to have soluble materials in the soil. These are things that crops require. If they are not present in the soil, then the soil becomes acidic and the crops will not do well. But when they are too much, when they are in excess, then they become toxic to the crops. So, the alkaline soil, when it so becomes so alkaline, when it becomes excessive, then you got to do something about it. An example of such is what you find in the dry lands. The excess, the, 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 the salt is in excess because they do not have enough water to neutralize them and to make them available for cross uptake. You have such in dry land such as savanna, savanna and the desert. Now how can we conquer um, alkaline soil? It's very simple. All you have to do is to apply more water to the soil so as to dissolve the excess salt out. And that is done in form of irrigation. You practice irrigation, water the soil, soak the soil with water then the excess salt can be uh, dissolved and cry, the crops can take it in forms that will not be toxic to them. Then you can also do, uh, you can also apply acid fertilizer like ammonium nitrate or ammonium sulfate. This will neutralize the excess salt and release it to the crops. Then you can also apply sulfur to the soil. When someone is put to the soil, it reacts with the excess salt and neutralizes it. These are ways to tackle alkaline soil. Um, from here, we move to methods of testing chemical properties of the soil. You know, there's a lot of laboratory tests that can be conducted on the soil to prove or to ascertain the pH level of the soil, the acidic level of the soil, or the alkaline level of the soil. So these tests are about five of them. We can use litmus paper. We can do, we can use space scale, we can practice electro, electrometric method, we can practice calorimetric method, and we can also go through BDH test. Okay, now use of litmus paper. Litmus papers are chemical papers that respond to uh, acidity or alkalinity by change of a, or so alkaline substance or acid substance by changing color you know there are chemical papers when deep into acid or when deep into uh into alkaline or base the color changes okay now um litmus paper could come in form of blue or a form of red or it could be only one litmus paper with two um different colors at both sides one side could be red the other side could be blue okay now if for you to use litmus paper, the soil you want to test, you mix it with water to form a form of, a form of suspension. You form a suspension of the soil. That is, you put the water, the the, the soil into uh, maybe a petri dish, you know, or it, uh, and then mix it with water. You stir it very well. Then you take the litmus paper, you put inside the, the solution. If the litmus paper, if you put red, and the red is turned to blue. That means that soil is alkaline. And if you put blue litmus paper, and blue litmus paper is turned to red, that is acidic soil. So acidic soil turns blue litmus paper red, while alkaline soil turns red, red litmus paper blue. But if the litmus paper remains unchanged, now in both ways, that means that particular soil is neutral. It's neither acidic nor alkaline. Now, we can also use pH scale. A pH scale is what I've just drawn on the board. For pH scale, now the chemical is mixed up with water, and then you compare it on the scale, the use of pH scale. pH scale can be used to test and determine the level of alkalinity or acidity of the soil. For the pH scale, this is the diagram you have on the board. You mix the salt with water and you put the electrodes into the water. Then immediately the pointer will deflect in the scale, which you can see. 
you can deflect to 1, 2, 3, or to the 14. So, whichever way it deflects, you can lead it off on the scale. The one we have on the board now is deflected to 4. And that means it is an acidic soil. In the pH scale, it is 1 to 14. The surface is neutral. 1 to 6 acidic, 8 to 14 is uh, alkaline. The, if it is 1, 2, 1 or 2, it is strong acid. But 3, 4, 5 is a, a weak acid. If it is 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12, it is a weak alkaline. If it is 13 or 14, stronger alkaline. So pH scale can be used to test the uh, pH of the soil. Then we can use another one, electrometric method. Electrometric method is very close to pH scale. <coughs> the difference is difference in the use of pH meter. It has a meter that is not a scale. What we do is that it has electrodes too. The soil we mix with water and form the suspension. It has two electrodes which is thrown into the or put inside the uh, soil solution. You when you do that, the pH, the meter of the pH will deflect a number which we show. Maybe it is four or it is six or whatever, whatever number it shows is the actual pH of the soil. Instead of reading it off and comparing the pointer, this one does not use any pointer. It just beam the number. Whichever number it beams, that's the number of the pH. Then you can use calorimetric method. For calorimetric method, it has to deal with the use of color cards. You mix the um, this water with, uh, with the soil with water and you extract a thick soil out of it and then you compare the color of that soil with the color of it, with the standard color cards. The standard color cards, the color, the card has source of colors and each color is graded with a pH. You compare the color of your, of your, of, of your soil that you have uh, brought out, extracted from the um, solution. I have missed it. You compare the color with the color cards. You see any color that, is, that resembles that of the color of the soil you have, you look at the pH number under the color, that is the pH of the soil. The last one is BDH soil test. This is a very complex test. It uses a BDH chemical, which we call barium sulfate. The barium sulfate is put, you know, it's used with 12 test tubes and a polished wooden cabinet. This is a very complex scientific method of testing soil. It's used in advanced stages. And that's also, it makes up pH color chart as well. So these are the methods by which the soil the chemical properties could be tested. The first one is used on litmus paper. I told you red litmus paper is turned to blue by uh, acid, um, I mean by base, then blue litmus paper to red by acid, then if it is a uh, neutral, the little separate remains unchanged. Then use of pH scale, electro electrometric method, calorimetric method, and the BDH soil test analysis. Okay, now let's look at the classification of soil. <coughs> we know we have soil, and soil can be classified in different categories. But in this type of category of classification, we are looking at the, the we want to classify soil based on how they are formed from the climate, vegetation, topography, soil profile, from different angles, we look at the types of soil that we have. In. And we have three types of soil based on this category. We have the sonar soils, we have the intrasonar soils, and we have the asonar soils. Again, sonar soils, intrasonar soils, a, so, a or non-sonar soils. Now, that uh, um, sonar is talking about um, soil profile. It's talking about soil profile. That means that the soil profile is matured, is recognizable. When you dig to the soil, you can easily identify the soil profile. When you have that, then you call it sonar soil. For sonar soil, the soil is matured and it has recognizable soil profile, which you can see, which you have treated at that time. The horizon A, B, C, and D, including the uh, level of organic matter on the top. So the sonar soil has two types. You have the pedophiles and the pedocars. The pedophiles, these ones, they don't have lime accumulating material. In other words, they do not have much of clay particles in them. They are not so strong. They, they non lime accumulating soil. That's what they are. But the pedal car, that car, this one has much of calcium. So it has more, more of a lime in them. 
So pedo cars, they have lime accumulating, they are lime accumulating soils. They have more of calcium. Examples are brine soil or red soil, which we call laterite. Then we have the intrasonal soil. The intrasonal soil, they are partly sonar and they are partly non sonar. So these ones, <coughs> they are formed under special conditions, such as inadequate drainage. Then when you do have inadequate, there's no adequate drainage, water will accumulate. And this water will form a kind of water logging or flood, which will result in salt to accumulate in a particular position and also result in alkalinity. When you have this kind of situation, then you have intrasonal soil. Intrasonal soil is formed because the drainage is not proper and uh, the water has now stayed in a place and the salt has accumulated alongside with the soil. Then you have intrasonal soil. Intrasonal soil can be of three types. You have hydromorphic soil, holomorphic soil, and casimorphic soil. The word hydro is from water, you know. The word holo is from salt. The word, the word calcium is from uh, calcium or lime. And morphic means love, means love or something that's affinity. Okay. Now, hydromorphic soil, they are soil that have acidity for water. Hydro is water. In other words, they contain much, too much water. Example is uh, waterlogged soil. So, a waterlogged soil is an intrazonal soil. Holomorphic, holo means salt, morph means love. So, um, holomorphic soils, they are soil that have high content of salt in them. High content of salt in them. Calcimorphic soil. Calcium is calcium or lime. Morph means love. Calcimorphic soils are soil that have high concentration of uh, lime inside of them. Example is uh, slime stone. Then we can also talk about the third group of a uh, classification of soil, which is a sonar or non sonar soil. A sonar soil, they are young soils. You see, don't forget that when we talk of sonar, we talk about calculation soil profile. And you can only have soil profile when the soil is matured. But this one, they are young soils. The, 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 the um, soil profile have not even been fully formed. So they are so young that you cannot identify the soil profile. So there are three types of them. You have the little soil, which is formed around mountains. Just soil gathering around the mountain foot. Then you have the regular soils, which is formed in a deep, soft area, like a valley. In a valley, they take, accumulate the minerals that begin to accumulate them in the valley. Then you have the alluvial soil. This talks about the, the, the soil that is carried by water and are deposited into a place. So the three types of arsenal soils are little soils, regular soils, alluvial. Three types of intrasonal soils are adromorphic, holomorphic, and casimorphic. While two types of uh, sonar soils are pedophiles and uh, pedocas. This summarizes the end of soil and is an uh, analysis. Now, with all this that we have studied today, with all this we have been studying, if when you see some of the questions, you can answer them. All the questions, some questions will pop up. You can answer them, but if you find it difficult to answer them, you have to go back and, uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, watch the video again and you find answers to all the questions. Thank you.